Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, can we get the podium? Oh, you want me to go to the podium? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They've created their everyone. own. Oh. We're so excited to have you here as we place the bronze fonts back in this rightful place here on the Milwaukee River Walk today. And before we get to the details of his triumphant return, let's back up a bit. In 2008, when Dave Mantle, then the Vice President of Public Relations for Visit Milwaukee, had an idea to pay homage to our happy days with a statue of Arthur the Fonz Fonzarelli. He worked hard to garner support, and even before there were selfies, he knew it would become a popular spot for pictures. In the years since its installation, it has become a beloved attraction and arguably the most popular selfie spot in Milwaukee. So thank you to Dave. As it goes thank with incredibly you. popular statues, over time they need to be cleaned up and repaired. But I must say that when we removed the bronze bonds for routine maintenance on a Tuesday afternoon in February, we had no idea the stir it would cause throughout the city. As we prepared to clean up the location and <coughs> add signage, explaining the disappearance, locals noticed almost immediately that he was gone. This set off a lot of social media posts, news stories, and even phone calls asking, where is the Fonz? Well, after taking time to restore and refresh this beloved statue, I'm happy to answer that question. The Fonz is right here on the Milwaukee Riverwalk where he belongs and where he'll be for years to come. You might notice that he looks a little bit different once we unveil him. The blue jeans are now bronze and his shirt and iconic leather jacket, although shaded so the effect of his clothes are still the same. This new look will allow for easier maintenance that will help him to stay looking cool for years to come. Now I'd like to introduce Mayor Cavalier Johnson. Well, thank you so much, Peggy. I really appreciate that. I'm Cavalier Johnson, Mayor of the City of Milwaukee, and we're here to celebrate the return of Fonzie. Bonds on the Riverwalk here in Milwaukee. It's a beautiful day to do it. You know, people from around the country and from around the world, I think even, you know, their perceptions about Milwaukee were established by characters in sitcoms. You think about Laverne, you think about Shirley, you think about, hey, Fonzie himself, who's returning to our river, Riverwalk today. And that's great. But we know in 2022, obviously, that's it's not just things like that. It's things like our diversity. It's things like our culture. Our, our ethnic festivals, the people in the city of Milwaukee that really drives the perception of the city of Milwaukee. But it's still great nonetheless to celebrate Fonzi and his return to the Riverwalk uh, during warmer months, warmer months than this. Uh, you'll see folks walking up and down uh, the Riverwalk here, posing, taking pictures and selfies with the Fonz. You know, those folks, they stay at our, our hotels in Milwaukee. They go to uh, our restaurants uh, in Milwaukee. They're helping to spur tourism and adding to our economy uh, here in the city. And Fonz and Visit Milwaukee are great at doing that and bringing that sort of activity and dynamism to our city. So it's a wonderful day. I'm happy to be here and celebrate the return of Fonz right here on the Riverwalk in Milwaukee. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate it. Now I would like to introduce Maria Von Horn, Deputy Secretary for the Wisconsin Department of Tourism. Hello Milwaukee. I'm here today representing the Wisconsin Department of Tourism and where we're all huge fans of this show and the statue. Public art like the bronze ponds is a draw for visitors across the state, just as we know it is here in Milwaukee. As Peggy mentioned, that became very apparent during its short time away. What a testament to the strong connection to the community and Wisconsin's passionate spirit in nature. From our vibrant architecture to our outdoor sculptures and galleries, Wisconsin is a living, <coughs> breathing piece of art. We value self-expression and the feeling of camaraderie found, whether you're among a crowd of theater or museum goers, or taking in public art to find the backdrop of the most Instagram-worthy photo. Public art projects bring creativity and vibrancy to communities across the state and provide access to all. Congrats to Visit Milwaukee for creating and maintaining what has become a beloved attraction unto itself. We're so glad to see him back in his rightful place on the Riverwalk. We look forward to seeing many more travelers snap a selfie and make memories with the bronze fawns during their trip to Milwaukee. Thank you so much for being here and representing the state. Now please 
help me welcome Mae McCulley, who many of you know from her work leading the Milwaukee County Historical Society in Paps Mansion, but she's here today in her capacity as president of the Riverwalk District. Thank you, Peggy. I am glad to be here on, on behalf of the Milwaukee Riverwalk District, um, which has more than 20 pieces of art along the three-mile stretch of Riverwalk on both sides of the Milwaukee River. You know, the Fonz has really become a destination in itself, and uh, we can see that uh, from social media, from traffic coming through here. Um, we're thrilled to have the um, furniture here uh, in front of the Fonz so people can enjoy it. For those who are new to Riverwalk, the walkway connects three downtown neighborhoods across about 20 blocks. Um, and tens of thousands of visitors literally use it all year long. And um, it's a community way to get around town, but also to enjoy the river in a different way and then the art that connects it. Um, so while there's distinct personalities of the neighborhoods at Lakes, the um, art also, uh, both permanent and changing, gives it uh, character and something to visit. Uh, it adds natural beauty and ambience as well. So uh, in the coming years, uh, expect this to be here, Fonz here, um, but also uh, a new way coming this spring to share uh, the art along the river um, in different destinations, uh, which of course the Fonz will be a major part of. So thank you again for having me and thank you to everyone here for continuing to love the Fonz. We're so happy to have him back on Riverwalk. Thank you, Maine. And now to introduce the woman who hardly needs any introduction, Miss Milwaukee herself, Downtown Milwaukee's Beth Byron. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. Thanks so much, everybody. It's really so good to be here today. It's so warm out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and as you can hear in the background, even through this pandemic time, we've got lots of construction and work going on in downtown Milwaukee. So uh, there's no pandemic that stopped our investment in the city, right? Well, we're all happy to welcome back uh, the bronze bonds, and we all know how important public art is. Whenever we travel anywhere in the world, what do we remember? We remember that sense of place. We remember, I know when I go to Minneapolis, I used to love to go see um, the Mary Tyler Moore statue, right? But it's just the public art that creates these, th this vibrancy and this energy and that tells a story about the community. Our organization, Milwaukee Downtown, is really focused on public art. Um, Gabe Yeager, our downtown environment specialist here today, we just recently unveiled two murals in our skywalks. All year long, we're focused on the implementation of public art, celebrating our local artists, participating in activation of our spaces. Maine talked about how many uh, visitors we bring through this river walk that come here just to see the bronze fonds. There's little C who drove bronze fonds around on his last visit here when we unveiled this. Yay, little C. But I just want to say thanks to everybody who did their part in, in maintaining and caring for the bonds. Uh, thank you, Visit Milwaukee, for your ownership of that. And here's to happy days. And now I'd like to introduce the woman who has done the real work to maintain our beloved bronze bonds and who has probably fielded more media requests in the last month than she has in the last decade combined. Co-owner of Vanguard Sculpture Services, Beth Sahagian Alsan. Hello. Um, I apologize to any of the media if I was rude to you. I was a little much. So, uh, thank you for having me and my team here today uh, to reinstall the bonds to his rightful place on the river walk. Our all artists run company, Vanguard Sculpture Services, is a full service art foundry located in the 30th Street Industrial Corridor, uh, where we've been working on the fonts for the last few weeks. Although we primarily specialize in bronze castings and fabrications for artists, we've been feeling the need to care for Milwaukee's many great pieces of public art. Whether consulting, fabricating, restoring, maintaining, or installing, you'll see us out and about downtown every year from May to November. We're honored to have earned the confidence of many of our city's sculpture guardians, especially the Milwaukee Riverwalk District, the City of Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Downtown, and Visit Milwaukee. We love the work we do, and it's made it's made even more special when we see such strong reactions to sculptures like we saw when we removed the fonts. Any piece of public art that resides out of doors requires regular maintenance 
and occasional restoration or conservation. For the Fonz, his paint was tired after 13 years of weather and very much love. <laughs> Once the sculpture was deinstalled and back at our shop, we removed multiple layers of paint, thoroughly cleaned the metal, and performed some minor repairs. The cleaning prepared the bronze for um, an application of a two-stage brown traditional patina. The patina is not a paint, but a chemical that reacts with the surface. It does not lie on the top, but it becomes part of the metal. Um, this will help react with the surface. Oh, sorry. This prevents chipping and peeling and water penetration. Silicon bronze is 95% copper, which means it's reactive. When exposed to city air, um, the bronze turned green from salts, car exhaust, and acid rain. We protect the fonts with patina that will dramatically slow this natural corrosion from forming. Our patina process consists of heating the metal to approximately 300 degrees with a torch and a brush in hand. Patina chemicals are carefully brushed and sprayed onto the surface, creating color variations and accenting the details. While still warm, three coats of wax are applied and buffed out, making the surface shine. The wax will help to protect the metal and the patina from UV, hand oils, and dirt. However, this will not protect from rough interaction, sharp or abrasive objects, or climbing. My parting thought is this. The Fonz, although great to hang out with, needs a job. And all of us sculpture guardians need him to help us protect our public art. So I think he should be deemed the official protector of public art in Milwaukee. And what I mean by this is the way we treat the Fonz respectfully and with caution is the way we should treat all pieces of public art. Even though you can't touch most pieces of public art, if you're gentle, you can touch them. And because you are careful, visitors and locals will be able to get their selfies for years to come. Now that all you are sculpture guardians, go out and help Fonz spread the word. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, I like that. No, it's good, thank you, I like that. He's now the sculptor guardian. And now, let's get to the moment you've all been waiting for. The big reveal of the newly bronzed over, all over bronze Fonz. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't go away back. 